we'll take the question from the lady side. The first question, please. Um, Bismillah, Salam Alaikum. I'm Lynn from Philippines um, and I'm working as a receptionist in security company. Um, my question is, in a Bible or Quran say, um, honor your father and mother. If I will convert as a Muslim now, uh, do I uh, disobeying my parents and I'll make or I'll make a scene, right? Can you please repeat the question slowly? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, in Bible, say, or in Quran, um, honor your mother and mother, father and mother. So if I converted as a Muslim now, uh, this, uh, it means um, I'm disobeying them. So I, I do, um, so I make a scene, right? Sister, that's a very good question. She says that the Quran says you have to honor and respect your mother and father. But if she becomes a Muslim, She'll be disobeying the parents, so how does she have to solve this problem? Quran says in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 23-24, that we have ordained for the human beings to be just to the parents. You want to human mean? To be kind to the parents. And, and Allah says that after worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have to respect your parents. And if one of them or both of them reach old age, don't say oof to them. Don't say a word of contempt, but lower to them the wing of humility and you pray for them and address them in honor and pray to almighty God that bless them as they cherish me childhood so in the Quran after worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah says you have to love and respect your parents and don't say oof to them so as a general rule you have to follow the commandments of your parents your mother and father but the Quran also gives an exception in Surah Ankabut, chapter number 29 verse number 8 and Surah Luqman chapter 31 verse number 15 that after Allah says in Surah Luqman chapter 31 verse 14 that we have ordained on the human beings to be kind to their parents in travel upon travel did the mother bore them and in pain did she give them birth the next verse says in Surah Luqman chapter 31 verse number 15 that if your parents strive do jihad to make you worship somebody else besides Almighty God then do not obey them but yet live with them with love and companionship same message is repeated in Surah An Kabut, chapter number 29, verse number 8, that we have ordained for the human beings to be kind to their parents. But if their parents force you or strive to make you worship somebody else besides Almighty God, then do not obey them. So here, as a general rule, you have to love and respect your parents. But if the parents tell you something against Allah and His Rasul, something against the Quran and the Sahih Hadith, that's the only time you can disobey. But yet, you have to love them and respect them. That does not mean that once you accept Islam, sister, once you accept Islam, you will start respecting your parents more. Because in other religions, you normally don't respect your parents as much as you have to respect in Islam. And the hadith of Prophet Muhammad said that paradise lies beneath the feet of your mother. So once you become a Muslim sister, only those things which your parents tell you against Quran and Sai Hadith. Very few there. Except for those things, you have to follow everything else what your parents tell you. And normally I tell the non-Muslims or the new Muslims, that when they accept Islam, you have to see to it that you should love your parents more than what you loved them before. For example, they told you to wear blue color and you don't like blue color. Now once you accept Islam, wearing blue color in Islam is not haram. So you have to go out of the way, even though you don't like blue, you should start wearing blue. You should start loving your mother more. You should start taking care of her more. Same thing with your father. They should find a difference that what has happened to my daughter. Now she's loving me more. Now she's caring me more. Now she's taking more care of me. Now she's obeying me more. Except for those few things which is against Islam, those few things, sister, you will not be following of your parents. Everything else, you love her more, you take care of more, you respect her more. You will find a drastic change in your behavior. And inshallah, this will be fruitful for even letting your father and mother come on the straight path. Hope that answers the question, sister. Uh, the sister would like to take shahada. Yes, inshallah, sister. Sister, do you believe that there's one God? Yes, I believe. Uh, sister, were you a Christian first? Before? I'm sorry? Were you a Christian before? Yes. 
So do you believe Jesus is God? No. Mashallah. Do you believe he is the messenger of God? Yes. Mashallah. Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger? Yes. Sister, is anyone forcing you to accept no. Islam? No. Are you accepting Islam out of your free will? I'm sorry. Are you accepting Islam out of your free will? Yes. Inshallah. So I'll just say it in Arabic. You can repeat it. Okay. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And. And. Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad. Is the messenger. Is the messenger. And servant of Allah. And servant of Allah. MashaAllah sister become a Muslim. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide you more. And inshallah grant you jannah. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may you be a good example. To your parents, to love your parents more, respect them more, and be the guiding force for letting them also come to Islam, inshallah. I mean, do you believe Jesus is God or is the messenger of God? He's also the messenger of God. MashaAllah. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes, I do. MashaAllah. That means you're a Muslim. The minimum requirement for anyone to be a Muslim is he should believe there's one God, he should believe that he has no partners. And if you believe Jesus is not God, a messenger of God, and you believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger, that means you're a Muslim. Yeah, there's no doubt in the Quran. MashaAllah. So would you like to read the Shahada? Would you like to say it in Arabic? Yeah. MashaAllah. Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? No, nobody. Is.